Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Finally, we are here on episode 4 of Let's Play Planet Coaster, The Dean Resort. Thankfully we are here, we are back once again, working on this incredible park, which we haven't even put any rides in yet. This is the first episode where you'll see the park's first major roller coaster go in, along with a supporting flat ride, and this is one of a few different episodes for this, as you can probably tell, pirate themed area. And it's going to be a large scale area with a big water lake feature. Obviously, we're going to feature a pirate ship in there because it's a pirate themed area. Why would you not put a pirate ship in a pirate themed area? Obviously, you're going to have a swinging ship, which you'll see go in later this video. You're going to have a launch coaster, a double launch coaster, I believe. Uh, and yeah, just overall, it's going to be a really nice area to start off the park now. Uh, I, I'm so glad we're back and doing these types of Planet Coaster videos, the Dean Resort. A lot of you have been anticipating when the next video is going to be live, and I just really I apologise for how long you know this series has taken. And obviously, we're going to try and get back into the swing of it. I'm going to try and start doing it a bit more for you, all, and that is a promise. Uh, obviously, as soon as I can get them out, I'll get them out for you. But there you go. You can kind of see the sort of the layout of the how the area is going to run. As I said, it's going to be quite a large scale area. Within the park, we're going to have maybe four or five different themed areas. And as I said before, I've marked off an area where I want to build a studio sort of air park. And so just to kind of catch up with everyone, we've got the main entrance. Uh, and then we're going to have a sort of entrance street as well, which is still in the works. Obviously, you saw in the last few episodes be working on that plaza and the entrance street. Um, but obviously, throughout you know the next few episodes, you'll see... You know, just changes added to that. It's not completely finished yet as well, but I really wanted to jump in and get a roller coaster built for all of you because I know, you know, we hadn't done one yet. And it'd be nice just, just you know, to start off the park by putting that in. So here you go. There's the start of that lake feature just going in there. And what I do for the entrance, there's going to be a night. There's a nice building which you see go in in just a moment's time. You're just seeing the foundations going for the area. But you see there's this nice entrance building to the area along with a nice little beach cove as you enter which is really nice, so you get a nice viewpoint of the whole area itself. And I'm really, probably one of the, my favourite areas that I've ever built. One of my favourite themes within the game is the pirate pack. And actually, one thing that I've been doing recently is the challenge modes that you can get, where you get given a certain amount of money, and you have to kind of run your own theme park. So it's not like I've been playing Planet Coast, it's just I simply, you know, have, have other stuff been going on, been doing stuff, so I haven't had the time to sort of get these videos out. But I've got the next few videos of this series, uh, already being in the, in the works and in the making so definitely it's, it's going to be returning soon but yeah here's episode four i'm looking forward to just showing you what's been going on so far but as you can see here just doing in those like nice little uh, rock pieces in the water just to give it a bit more of a sort of terrain within it because you know it's a bit unrealistic having it all flat but i'm not it's not like i'm going to go put rocks under there because you know that just takes too much time but yeah there you go sort of painting the terrain I, I didn't really have the uh, sand terrain with this with this area. I don't know if I go in and change it. I might do. I can't remember. This, the, uh, this, I did this video about two months ago and I haven't just been sitting there waiting. And so I apologise for that. But there you go. You can see some of the fences have gone in already there. And you're going to see me working on the uh, entrance building. And there you go. As I just mentioned, got the sand texture pack. Now it is all flooding back to me now. Um, on the right, you could just saw a building there. That was I, I did this entrance out of the area maybe four or five times until I finally got one that I really liked. And then I realised, oh wait, we've got the uh, sandstone walls. And I'm thinking, oh, that looks quite piratey. I think that might fit. Yeah, I went with the sandstone walls for the main entrance, but then I continued to do sort of the uh, stucco-type walls. Uh, I think that's how you say it. St uh, stucco, stucco, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, type walls for sort of the pirate village which you'll see in later episodes going and we've got a nice restaurant uh, that guests can use with a nice sort of balcony viewing boardwalk over the water which is really nice actually um, and I've been using a few of the TMKT packs TKM I'm not sure how you pronounce it uh, what sort of letter order it is but yeah I've been using some of those packs and it's really quite nice you know using other people's creations uh, and it, it, it kind of just gives you a bit more freedom on what you can build within the game, which is really nice. But yeah, not too big of an entrance building. It's going to have quite a lot of props on it. However, it's kind of just, you know, a bit of a staple as to what the area is. It's that pirate themed area and it will lead off a sort of a connecting path that will lead all the way around the main entrance lake. 
I'm not sure if it's already been installed, but it will be installed in the next few episodes if it hasn't already. Uh, but yeah, that's quite a nice viewing point which we'll have in the middle of the park, which will kind of tie all the areas together, and it'll be a nice viewing point. There'll be loads of viewing points around the park to watch the nighttime fireworks spectacular. I also want to have this with this park, a bit like Chesington and a few of the other parks, stages dotted around where we'll have entertainers and performers and maybe try and make our own sort of program, our own sort of stage show, which will be really nice. I really, as I said before, with this park, I wanted to go all out with it, seeing as, you know, it's the Dean Resort, you know, it's, it's what I'd do if it was my dream park. And obviously with this area, I've tried to do as much detail as I possibly can. And obviously throughout this series, it'll just keep getting better and better, my skills. But yeah, as you can see here, I wanted to add in sort of this uh, you know you get on like castles, you get like the um, bridge that kind of lowers down, but instead it's this one it's going to be a gate with the chains and it kind of lowers. Uh, it doesn't lower obviously for, you know, because what's the, what's the need for it, but yeah, I add in this sort of um, bridge thing that kind of lowers and opens if they wanted it to. But yeah, it, it, it looked quite nice, I used some uh, coal pieces to make like some of the bolts on it, and it was just kind of, you know, quite a creative way to do it. It doesn't fully fit in with the door frame, but when it's already tilted up, guests won't really notice that. But yeah, here you go. It's quite nice as well because it gives it sort of this um, umbrella sort of look as well over the thing. Not that guests will be stopping there for any reason, but um, there might be a few benches underneath there along the pathway. Just for guests to use if they want a little bit of shade. But yeah, you can see what I mean by having this sort of gate door that you'd normally see on castles. And there's me trying to exp experiment with the uh, sort of you know circular objects but then I thought the coal pieces wow they really do look like uh, nuts and bolts so yeah I went with them and I think it turned out really nice this kind of not too much detail but you know kind of basic but actually it kind of works you'll see me in a minute adding in the chains here we go it's on the wall there and yeah overall I'm really happy with how this sort of entrance piece turned out I didn't want it to be too dramatic I just kind of wanted it to fit in with the area and it, I think I think you definitely succeeded with that. You'll see kind of these nice tropical trees going in around it. This nice little water feature. And just sort of, you know, general props added in around. And just to kind of, you know, go all out with this. Because obviously, you, first impressions are everything, aren't they? So I really wanted to, you know, give it guess that first impression that they're going to be walking into quite this heavily detailed area within the park. And you can see the entrance sign going in there. And a few other little pieces and... Bobs, and <laughs> pieces of bobs. What am I on about? Uh, but there you go. Adding in a few of these pirate skeletons on the walls. But yeah, overall, you know, just great to be back doing these Planet Coaster commentaries. If you didn't say we did a Dragon's Fury recreation, which is going to be another series still going on whilst this one's happening, you're going to get a few different series. So obviously, if you're not a fan of one, you can go and watch the other if you prefer that one. You know, it gives it a bit of a variety. Obviously, still sticking with those normal theme park videos, bringing you all the latest news. I've got a few different ones in the pipeline that I've got ready. But yeah, overall, you know, I'm really glad with, uh, you know, what we're doing with the channel at the minute. Still, you know, work in progress, trying to get back into the swing of things. But as I was saying earlier, just quickly, about the uh, creations that other people make, those barrels in the background and some of the chests, they're all homemade creations from someone else. Uh, and honestly, they look brilliant. And, you know, I think they really fit with the pirate area. And I'd like to see Planet Coaster maybe introduce a few more props into the future. Maybe with a maybe a potential, you know, future of Planet Coaster 2. Are we ever going to see that? I'm not too sure. But there you go there. You can see the finished entrance. I skipped a little bit of it because you probably didn't want to see me working on that. You wanted me to get to building on the brand new coaster. As I said, it's going to be a launch coaster. I believe I go with this one, maybe. I'm not, yeah, okay, we go with this one, I believe. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to have it drop down underground. And then you have a massive launch underneath the ground so basically the launch runs from underneath the entrance that we just built and then it will kind of come out just after on the left hand side of it and there was that whole big space where there was that big mountain with the waterfall and it's quite a big launch actually it looks big but actually when you're on it it kind of you know it's quite over in a matter of seconds but you know it's going to have heavy theming down underneath there uh, I think it maybe have a few explosions, maybe gunpowder or something. I'm thinking maybe that might work. But yeah, I, this coaster is. I'm really hard, glad with how it turned out. And as I was saying, all that space that we've got just there, we've got the water. I have did some nice sort of splash features, and yeah, I think it turned out really nicely. Uh, as you can see, there also the pirate coaster as well. 
Yeah, I was I, I was thinking. I didn't go with that one. I went with a vector one, but I didn't want to question myself too early. Yeah, we yeah, you go. Changed it up a bit, but yeah, you saw the pirate ship go in, and it launches just past that. And what's really nice, it kind of launches, and it has that interaction with the pirate ship if you're on it. It kind of swings. It has that nice interaction, which is really nice. And later on in the ride, it interacts a bit more as it's coming around to the uh, brake run. With that, there's also an inversion over the entrance piece, which I really wanted to do. I got a bit of inspiration from Chesington's new coaster. Obviously, you've got the um, barrel roll, I believe it is, over the uh, station. Well, not station, but, you know, the entrance to the area. And that's what I got inspiration from with this. I wanted a nice interaction with the entrance just to kind of get guests kind of hyped, you know, for that coaster and be like, oh, wow, look at that. I really want to go get on that. With this coaster... Actually, with this whole area, this area was actually right by the entrance of the park. I built about three different versions. Not fully detailed, obviously. I wouldn't go to that extent, but kind of mapping it out. And yeah, it, it took quite a while to finally figure out where I'm going to put it. And I thought right at the back of the park. So I wanted this big mountain uh, with the skull rock on it. And within that mountain behind it, I'm planning on putting a pirate dark ride in, uh, which might be really nice as well. Um, for the area I'm not too sure yet that's why there was that sort of metal roof on the top just to give it a bit more realism because the parks wouldn't actually put in a massive roller coaster ride there uh, uh, and a massive mountain so you know I don't know why I said roller coaster ride but you know because I'm, I'm watching myself smooth it yeah they wouldn't put a big mountain in actually you know just for theming like Expedition Everest you've got to think that you know all inside that it's just going to be support structures so yeah that big mountain there would literally just be supported by beams and that behind it. Yeah, you can see that interaction with the pirate ride there and that final inversion over this over the entrance uh, piece. But yeah, long coaster. I believe it was two launches. I might be wrong, or maybe it's, oh no, it was two because yeah, it does the launch on the lake just there. It's not one where you stop. It's kind of a continuous launch. Uh, and yeah, that has the splash feature. But yeah, it's all kind of featured in that one side of the area. And then over the other side, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a kiddie pirate coaster. I wanted to do maybe a log flume or a rapids or something just to, you know, fill up that space. But here's a sped up POV. You can kind of make out what it is. Oh, maybe, maybe you're not. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a POV there. You'll see a, definitely a POV, like a slow down one coming up soon when the whole area is complete. And I'll do a bit of an area overview. But there you go, kind of a, oh, Cobra roll, oh, zero G roll. Oh, yeah, I love that waterfall interaction as well. That's one of the things I really wanted when I was building that. That's why I kind of put it there, to have that coaster interact with it. There's that inversion over the entrance. Yeah. Nice. I was happy with that coaster turn now. I believe it was about two minutes long or something like that. Uh, but, yeah, it's quite a big coaster when you think about it because it kind of covers a, quite a large space. But, yeah, look at that. That nice inversion. Yeah, love it. But yeah, obviously, with, like, Disney parks, they'll have sort of trees and that. Uh, and you know mountains and man-made hills covering out each area so you can see the hills around by the pirate ship and just where the launch comes out there's those hills that are built up what we're going to do and what you see in the next few episodes is trees being placed up there just so when guests are walking around the normal areas of the park to access each area they don't kind of interact with the two obviously like some areas where you've got tall coasters you'll still see those areas but we'll try and block them out to the best of our abilities by having tall trees, theming pieces, buildings, and yet, you know, just trying to block it out from guest sight to kind of enhance the experience because you don't want to be in sort of this pirate cove area and be able to look behind you and see sort of this magical kingdom sort of fantasy area or sci fi area that doesn't really fit and it takes away from the sort of atmosphere and the experience of it. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of work on that and try and zone it out. But yeah, overall, I think I think it will turn out really nicely. But yeah, coming up to the end of the episode, I can't believe we, we're already at the end of the episode. It feels like I've been, you know, talking for five minutes and we're already at the end. 40 minute episode. I'm trying not to make them too long, but I also want them to be sort of a reasonable length for all of you. So yeah, actually, it was a triple launch coaster because it didn't make it far enough. Oh, uh, it wasn't fast enough in, in, for my liking. But yeah, triple launch coaster. Uh, I think it would probably be manufactured by Mac Rides, a bit like Icon. I think that's what I'd go for if it was a real park. Just love their coasters. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any more future Planet Coaster videos or just any generally theme park videos. And I really appreciate you subscribing. It really helps us out. Thank you so much for 1,100 subscribers. Really do appreciate it at the time of recording this. 
And yeah, stay tuned and stay tuned for more Planet Coaster videos. Bye bye.